Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another weekly update video. And uh, we are one week away from Christmas. It is December, let's see, it's Saturday. It's December the 16th. And um, I found nothing this week. Absolutely nothing. Last week was uh, a great week. I found a bunch of stuff. This week I really didn't find anything in stores. And to be honest with you, I really wasn't able to hunt at all because I've been working a lot. Um, trying to get my store um, in shape, so to speak. Anyway, and, uh, and also we've been really busy because it's, you know, I work at a retail establishment and um, yeah, you know, it's busy around this time of year. So anyway, um, really didn't get a chance to hunt, which really didn't matter because there really wasn't much coming in in my area anyway, aside from the M2 vans, which the only one I wanted from there was the ambulance uh, from those M2, the new M2, um, I think it's a Conaline van series, uh, which my buddy Shresh picked up for me, but I don't have it yet. Um, and he didn't find a chase, neither did my buddy Todd, so neither did my buddy Jeremy. None of them found chases, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. Um, so that's pretty much the only thing I think that hit this week were those um, uh, M2, that van series, which is kind of cool that they did that. Uh, but anyway, I don't have anything to show you from that. Um, so I'm going to show you briefly, this is going to be an oddball video, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I did acquire in the collection this week, because I still got a couple of things. And then we're going to kind of walk around my room here because I got that Carney case up on the wall. And uh, I'm going to show you that. And then uh, we're going to kind of walk around the room. I'm going to grab some random stuff off the wall to random carded stuff to go ahead and crack in the second half of the video. Or I guess the, the third third of the video because this will be in three parts today. And uh, we'll go ahead and crack that stuff and uh, take a look at it and still should still be uh, an interesting video. So anyway, <clears throat> without further ado, I did get some mail. I got some mail from an eBay seller. Um, I already have the silver version of this. This is the Kyosho Lotus Esprit Turbo. And I have it in silver and now I have it in red. So I'll go and pull out the silver one. I'll pull this thing off the base for the the third third of the video and uh, we'll take a look at both of those together but I was pretty psyched to have that this is the one I think I got it for like 10 or 11 bucks shipped from Japan so you cannot argue with that so that is pretty sweet um, got that and um, uh, if you saw my quick video that I did earlier in the week or a couple days ago with at Bubba Mater on Instagram you saw I got this stuff um, this is pretty much the meat of the matter right here. We got three white lightnings and uh, this regular treasure hunt. Um, he gave me a couple other regular tea hunts and the Rockford Files um, Trans Am. So this Trans Am is pretty sweet, so I can add that to the Hopper collection, which you'll, if you haven't seen it, I've done a video on them before. If you haven't seen it, you will see it in this video when I do a little, it's kind of going to be a room tour, but not, not quite. Um, but we'll look at those for real briefly and then um so this though this white lightning right here um we are definitely going to crack this one this one is going into my collection permanently um, these two whites right here might end up for trade i haven't really decided yet whether they're going to become a permanent part of the collection or not and anything that really becomes a permanent part of my collection is going to be loose at least for the most part there are a couple things i'll keep carded but uh, so if those stay, they're getting cracked. Um, we'll crack this uh, regular tea hunt too. Why not? So we'll crack that guy. Um, and then the only other thing I found this week was I went to the antique mall because I figured the guy, there's one guy there that stocks a bunch of die casts and I figured he would have had to visit his um, stand, even though he's not even from the local area, he's actually from a different state. So he's got a bunch of these little antique mall spots that, he's, that he stocks. And so... It's really only worth going there maybe once a quarter. Uh, so every three months or so, stop it in to see if he added a couple of things. And he did add a couple of things, and I picked up two of them. I picked up this Maisto uh, Design 2017 Ford GT. So we will crack that in the, the last part portion of the video. And uh, we'll take a look at this compared to the Hot Wheels version of it, and as well as the Majorette version of it, which I also have. Um, so we'll kind of 
take a look at those together. Um, let's see here. Oh, and green light's coming out with these too. So it'll be interesting once green light comes out to see how their their uh, version of this is going to compare to the others. Should be pretty cool. And then uh, speaking of green light, this is the other thing I picked up. This is a uh, this is the only first cut green light I've ever owned. This is the '84 Chevy Monte Carlo SS. I love this casting from green light. So you get a, like a raw version of it, and you get it in white. Um, definitely going to open this up in the second half, or I'll probably open it up before we get there. But uh, I paid 15 bucks for this, which I thought wasn't too bad. He originally was asking 20 and then had it crossed off for 15 And I had a little bit of cash in my pocket that day, so I figured, why not? I'm going to go ahead and just buy this thing. And uh, these uh, Monte Carlos, Carlos are sweet. All right, so that's going to be a quick portion for this video. Let's, uh, I'm going to take a walk around the room. We'll talk a little bit about the Carney case. Um, we'll pick some stuff off the wall, and then we'll crack some stuff. All right? So thank you, guys. Okay, so here is the Carney case. I went with the 148 uh, car case with the angled slots. Um, this case will be purely dedicated to Auto World vehicles. And right now, my biggest issue is I'm having problems with figuring out how I want to put these in there. So I haven't figured out whether I want to put them by release. So here you go. There's like License Premium Series 1, Set um, A. And... Uh, I just haven't figured out if do I do I want to put it by release or do I want to do it by casting variation where you see you have all the Cadillacs right here and uh, then these Chevy Kingswood Estates you know and so on so I haven't populated the case yet I actually do have enough loose auto world that I could legitimately just fill this thing up right now um, but I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want to do it. Um, but this is the Carney case. I definitely recommend getting one of these if you can afford it. Luckily, my parents pretty much bought this for me for Christmas. And uh, otherwise, right now, I wouldn't have been able to drop the money on it. This thing was, um, it was about 150 bucks plus shipping. So you're paying almost a dollar per spot, uh, or a little bit over a dollar per spot with the shipping to park your car so each one of these uh, little parking spots is worth a buck um, so that's that um, right now I have this little box in here right it's got the cover on it right now which I will probably actually remove the cover and leave the cover off the cover actually with the cover on these longer castings don't actually fit in here like these Cadillacs they do kind of hit uh, the corner of the car uh, which is why I have this box in there right now, so it doesn't touch them. Um, this room, thankfully, I have basically cut off from my heating and cooling system. Uh, so it doesn't really get a lot of dust since there's not a lot of people in here. And if you don't know, people are the main source of dust. And without people, you really don't get much dust. So I may just remove this cover and leave it at that. Um because these aren't going to get a lot of dust anyway. All right, so, but moving on real quick, we're going to kind of go, I mean, I have some room tour videos out there. This is a microfiber cloth. Beep, don't need that. Um, here's some customs just sitting here on the table. See, there's a lot of stuff I don't know where to put right now. Um, there's a bunch of Auto World Deluxe cars. You can see that whole row of uh, Ultra Reds right there. There's some more customs. Um, these two are Johnny Lightning, so this plane out right here is a bunch of Johnny Lightning. This is a bunch of Johnny Lightning. Some cool stuff in there. Um, this is some Racing Champions, Majorette, um, Ertl Muscle. Uh, this is just some uh, Matchbox, random Matchbox, random uh, Premium Hot Wheels, uh, Vintage Hot Wheels, some JDM stuff, some JDM stuff, this here on the wall, all these supers are supers I think I'm going to keep in my collection and I'm actually going to crack them. So let's pick out one right now to go ahead and crack and I actually want to crack this GMC motorhome because I want to add that to my collect my GMC motorhome collection which we'll see in a second. So we're going to crack that super for sure. Another super we're going to crack is I got this uh, painter's tape, I got this uh, Porsche. 
This is with a roll cage. We're going to crack that. So we'll put that on the crack it pile, which is sitting right there. Um, just moving on here, we're going to go through this kind of quick. You know, V dubs, like I said, I've shown this before. Um, some things have moved around. Look at all those VWs. So there's Beatles and buses. Some green machines in there. Some more buses. Some more Beatles. So basically, that takes up six entire Plano cases. Uh, 24 cars a piece. You can do the math yourself. Um, so there's that. Um, here's a Plano case that has Auto World in it. So obviously these will be removed from here and put into the Carney case. Uh, same with this one right here. Those will be removed from there and put into the Carney case. Uh, so I got to do something else with these little Plano cases here. We got just Porsches right there. A bunch of Porsches on the table. Not my whole Porsche collection, but a lot of it. Um, some Lamborghinis. Some Lambos down there. Um, then we get into Firebirds. So these are Auto World Firebirds. These Auto World Firebirds are actually going to stay in this section. They're not going to join the the case right there, which kind of makes my decision easy. So yeah, obviously I probably should just do it by casting because I'm not going to be able to put these in with those and then the series will not be complete. Um, this right here is the regular... Johnny Lightning of the uh, White Lightning, which is right there. So we'll set that there. Take a look at that in the third third of the video. And then we got some Hotbirds, some other um, Firebirds, and then these are just all Pontiac stuff here. Pretty cool. Um, then we got Vans, which of course I'm a fan of Vans. I pulled out some of these and put them in jammers already, just to make room. Um, I probably will pull out the highway haulers too and just put those in a jammer. Um, so there's those. And then um, some motorhomes, that green machine dump truck. Pretty cool there. Um, here's my very limited Kyosho collection that you see in those little bubbles there. Um, this little oil can thing I got from Frank's Kids. Shout out to you, buddy. Um, and then, I mean, we got basically some stuff on the wall here. All this stuff I'm going to crack. So all this stuff is going to be opened up. And it's going to join the collection loose. All of it. Eventually. I'm going to do it slowly. I'm not going to just go nuts and crack it all at once. For once, I, or for one reason, as I don't have enough room in my garbage can to fit all of this packaging. Um, so here's the other thing. So this is my Auto World pegboard right here. So this eventually is going to be basically empty. So I'm definitely going to have room to put something else here because uh, all that's going to be here is the stuff I have duplicates of. Um, but this is sorted by casting. So these are all Firebird, 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 Firebird. That Dodge Polaro Max Wedge, yada, yada, yada. So everything is by casting here. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're supposed to be picking stuff off to, to crack. Let's, crack. let's crack something really cool. This thing is really cool. I found this thing on the pegs, this ultra red, and it is sweet, man. So let's crack that. Let's actually crack all these Polaras. I uh, don't have this one loose. I've got this one loose. I don't have that one loose. And I don't have this one loose. So let's go ahead and crack those. And then here's the loose black one. So we'll put those over on the crack it pile. And, uh, We'll do that. What else can we crack here? How about this lonely Corvette? This is the only vet I have that's not loose, is this white one. Oop! Oh my god, disaster, disaster. I just dropped that onto those, and now we have some cars that have spilled over, but we'll take care of that in a bit. Um, this is all Johnny Lightning, by the way, basically, except for some oddball, like, Siku and stuff like that that I got from Friesen's Diecast. There's some racing champions in the back there. Um, then we got some green light here. Little golf collection of stuff there. There's a picture of my little son there, wearing a golf shirt. It's pretty cool. And then some Hot Wheels, some Supers and Regulars next to each other. 
and all of that. Um, let's see here. We got some green light. Should we crack something from green light? I'm staying away from those VWs just for the fact of... Um, I want to crack those in a separate video, but they're pretty much complete series. There's some Green Machine vans there. There's this guy here, which I am debating on getting rid of my whole little National Lampoon's vacation collection of these cars. And I know there's a couple of you YouTubers that are out for that, uh, namely Heavy Metal 164 and Kyle KP's Toys. I know you both want that one. Uh, I might trade that one. We'll see what happens. And then... Um, this guy, let's crack this guy. That's a cool little green light. And then, do I have that Joe Dirt one loose? I don't think I do, so might as well crack another Trans Am. And then we have an empty peg. So we'll crack that. And then we got some supers, some random stuff. Some random stuff that I might get rid of. Some M2s, barely any M2s. There's my M2 collection right there, guys. That is it. Um, so there's that, some just random garbage cars there pending boxes for people and stuff there we won't take a detailed look in that and then i also got these auto world uh display cases right here which these will also be f filled up because i'm gonna have a lot of loose um auto world and then we also got all these this is all gonna get cracked these are all castings i collect there's my messy 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 closet uh this is all loose mainline stuff this is how i store them in these little bins Loose wrapped up in baggies, um, and then down here we also got a bunch of loose or a bunch of stuff that needs to get cracked on these shelves down here as well. And jammers down there, a spot where I film the close-up stuff. And I think that's going to be it. So there we go. We're back at the uh, Carney case. We're going to go ahead and crack some of the random stuff. I think we got enough stuff here to make the, the second bit of video. We got a Super, we got an Ultra Red, actually two Supers basically. Ultra Red, a White Lightning, Kyosho. Oh yeah, we gotta grab the uh, the Silver Lotus Spree so we can pull that off the, the thing and then uh, go ahead and film that too. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and do that. I hope you found this a little bit entertaining. We're gonna go ahead and uh, crack this stuff, get it opened up, add it to the collection, and then I still gotta figure out what I'm Okay, so let's get right into it, starting with these Lotuses. Uh, this is the Lotus Esprit uh, Turbo, pretty sweet, by Kyosho. Um, love this car. I think it, this car is just a, just a sweet, iconic, wedge-style sports car. Um, really dig it. And uh, sweet to have it in red, sweet to have it in silver. This is the, the one I originally got. Both of these I ended up getting from the same seller um, on eBay. And just a really cool vehicle, really neat, um, I dig it, so hopefully some of you guys do too. Uh, so really neat in red, really neat in silver, both with gold wheels, uh, if you're not familiar with Kyosho, they typically have a plastic base, uh, metal body, but are very, 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 very highly detailed uh, vehicles. Um, most of them have lens detail on both headlights and taillights. This one would have pop-up headlights, so there's no headlights to be seen. That's painted detail right there on the bumper. Um, but looks uh, spectacular. So very awesome to add those or add this to the collection. This I already had, so that's a quick look at those. Um, next, let's quick look at this Johnny Lightning Firebird. This is the regular version. And then this is the White Lightning, which we're going to go ahead and crack. Got it from Bubba Mater in a trade. And there she is freed. So, I guess one boring thing about these style White Lightnings is the only difference is the white base. That is going to be it. Um, this one doesn't have white lightning on the tires or anything. Some of them do have that when they have the white base. Uh, this one has the lettered tires, but there's no no other visible difference, at least not to me. If you guys see something on camera, let me know. Uh, other than that, these are the same. So from the top of the car, you'd basically think these were the same thing, which they basically are, um, except for the white on the base of this one. But... Still dig it, still cool to add it to my collection, and, uh, you know, Trans Am, 
white lightning that's pretty awesome so there's a quick look at those two and we got to kind of keep moving here because i actually did kind of pick out a bunch of stuff to show um, real quick we'll, sticking with transams for just a second this is that rockford files transam hotbird it's the version of the hotbird with the opening hood which has only been released a handful of times um, definitely dig it so that's cool cool to have that guy Thanks to Bubba Mater. And then, uh, let's see here. Let's crack this thing real quick. This little uh, Shelby Cobra Daytona Coupe. And, like, now that I'm looking at this... No, never mind. I thought I might have had the Super of this. I do not. But, uh, pretty cool in orange. There that is. Just a quick look at that. And uh, so next up, let's take a look at some four GTs. All right, so here we got the four GT Super from Hot Wheels. Okay, pick the Super to show you, just because it's right in between a premium release and the mainline release. It's got rubber tires and stuff, but it's got a plastic base. And uh, all around, really cool and glad to have it. This is the Majorette release of this vehicle, 2017 Ford GT. Um, again, pretty neat. This is a majorette. It does not, this is one that does not have suspension. It also does not have um, any opening features. It does have painted taillights, though, which is pretty cool. And it's also got lens details in the front, which is also pretty cool. So there's that. And then this is your Maisto version, 2017 Ford GT. Open. I got this for five bucks at the uh, antique mall. So go ahead and pop that open quick, or somewhat quick. Wow, this thing is really in this package. And there is that. So Maisto tends to run a bit bigger than 164 scale, which might be obvious to you. Uh, but the one definite cool thing I see right away with this casting is the opening in the body is actually there that's actually open that is sweet um, neither of these have that going on neither one do um, and actually it's fairly close to the same size as the Hot Wheels one it's definitely a little bit bigger um, these have a plastic base metal body uh, they do have rubber tires with tread it's got painted details in the front it's got painted details in the rear and overall this is actually I think uh, the better of these three I think it's better than the Hot Wheels version, for sure. It's better than the Majorette version, for sure, too. The Majorette actually may be the closest one to scale. This is 163 scale, is what this is. And that might be actually true. Um, the other cool feature of the Majorette one, of course, is the lens detail. That is pretty awesome. But this thing is really sweet in the fact that it actually did the body correctly um, with that opening there, if you see that. So that's how the body actually is. And uh, that is really neat. So there's a quick look at those three. All right. So next up, let's take a look. We got the regular Porsche here. I just wanted to crack this sucker. So we're going to go ahead and crack this Super. Um, there is two different variations of the Super. There's one with a roll cage and one without. This is the one with the roll cage. So if you, you can see it mostly right there. And I like this super. I love this Porsche casting. Uh, the 993 GT2 is definitely one of my favorite Porsche castings. Uh, does my regular have one? No, regular one does not have the roll cage. The super does. So that is really sweet to have that one loose. This is um, this was on an international card. Uh, this was what from 2016, right? 2016 super. So cool to have that. I got it in a trade and um, glad to have it. There's a little paint flaw going on here, or tampo flaw on the top. But that's no biggie. Um, looks pretty cool. So there are those two, and we got to move right along here. Um, let's quickly crack this. Sticking with Hot Wheels. This is a GMC motorhome. Shout out to my buddy uh, Air Hotbox Angel. Also collects collects his casting. I really dig it. This is from uh, 2009. So this is an earlier Super. Um, there is a regular Treasure Hunt version of this exact car. So that's how they used to do it. This was a Super and there's a regular. And I apologize that I did not pull it out. I can see it from here, but I'm not going to go grab it just because we got more to go through. And this video is going to be quite long as it is with that room tour in there. 
Uh, but here is the super treasure hunting. Treasure hunting. So there is that. We all be treasure hunting. All right, so there is the GMC motorhome. Pretty neat. You get a lot of rubber tires of that one. You get six, so that's pretty cool. Um, then let's take a look at uh, the Monte Carlo SS. I believe this is the first release of it. it. Was this one here? I don't know what the deal is with the first cuts if they're actually first releases. This is the Black Bandit version. Um, these I cracked in previous videos, and they're pretty cool. And then we got another pair here. So the 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 first cut or whatever is what it's called. You get a raw version of the casting with absolutely no details on it whatsoever. There's no uh, paint. There is no. I think it's it's definitely clear coated. There's no paint. There's no details. There's no nothing. Nothing. Just wheels base. This is number 175, which is kind of neat. I don't know what they're limited to, um, but. It's got a little sticker on there that says 175, and then it comes with one that is painted, and here's the one that is painted, um, and it's white. So that looks pretty awesome. This is number 306. Um, one cool thing about these, which is interesting, the packaging is pretty fancy. Um, it comes in a, an acrylic case, and then with like a leather, or pleather, or whatever it is, a leather feeling type of base. So that's interesting. This is the only one of these I've ever added to the collection. So pretty cool to add that. Definitely a cool casting. I think I have all the versions of this now, the regular versions of this, with the exception of Jesse Pinkman's uh, Monte Carlo. I don't have that one. I need to get that one. So I'll definitely be adding that to the collection eventually. All right, so that's that. So let's get to more random cracking for what we found in the room. Let's start with these Polaras. These things are pretty sweet. So this was version uh, A, and then we have version B, which is in white. This was an awesome casting from Auto World. Um, they did a bang up job on this, the, especially the hood has um, those openings, a real opening in the hood, which is really awesome. So there's your white one. And I'm gonna try to move kind of quickly through these. Um, but there is the white one. Um, then we had a version C is in that like uh i don't know what you call it art deco blue um, so there is that guy in blue really cool so there's that almost like a 50s i don't know whatever bathtub blue or something <laughs> i don't know and then uh you have this guy in red so this is the version d and then 1256, that guy, so packaging out of the way, and there is the regular one in red, and then finally, you've got the Ultra Red, which the Ultra Red is freaking sweet, man, um, so this is on the version C card, but it would have been the same on the version C or the version D, I'm missing the version A, B Ultra Red of this. So if anybody's got one of those and is willing to trade it, let me know. It is slightly different from this car. Uh, the main difference being the wheels on this one are Ultra Red. The wheels on the regular one are black, like the set A one. But it has an Ultra Red body. And the base is also Ultra Red on this one. Um really cool to have the sucker loose and this this one is actually pretty much flawless it looks really good i'm definitely going to take some cool pictures of that one hopefully and put that one on, on uh, instagram show it off um this is what i really wanted to open today and that that is really cool so these will go in the carny case together because I think I pretty much decided we're not going to do it by release. We're going to do it by uh, casting. So these castings will be sitting together. I'm only missing one of them. And then I will have them all. I've got the original release of the Polara. The original release of Polara did not have the uh, the cool hood. And um, didn't have the cool wheels and stuff. Uh, but still was a really cool casting. And uh, pretty awesome to have. So there is that. So we got to keep moving here. We're at almost 12 minutes on this portion. So... Uh, real quick, stick with Auto World Corvette. This guy's got to join the uh, stable of Corvettes here because I've got all the rest of them loose. I've got the ultra red versions. This thing is, there's a total of six versions of this car. And this is the sixth one that I've cracked open. 
I'm not going to show you them all in this video. Maybe we'll do a variation Sunday or something on them sometime in the future. But this is a cool casting from Auto World, and this uh, actually will be coming out again very soon. Uh, I think it'll be in the first release for 2018. So there's that. And then uh, finally, we got two more Trans Ams. We got this Pontiac Firebird. This is Series 15. It is the U.S. Border Patrol from the Hot Pursuit Series from Greenlight. Open that guy up. And there it is. Pretty cool. It's a Trans Am with a light bar on it. Uh, some of these versions of this Trans Am have issues with the base not quite being on right. This is number 1202. Um, you can kind of see the base popping out a little bit from the body here, which was a common thing with these ones. Um, so that's unfortunate. And then we got the Joe Dirt 1979 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. This is the re-release of it. It's not the original. Which I don't know if there's any differences in the actual casting. I think there's differences in the green machine, but probably not in the actual casting. And here is a quick look at this guy. Pretty sweet. Good roller. Pretty awesome. All right, you guys. So that was pretty quick. I'm gonna, well, fairly quick, right? That's so. That's gonna be it for this video. Um, definitely the favorite thing that I cracked today is going to be this guy right here, which I think is just fantastic. This Polara is really cool. I'm also really glad to have that sucker loose, and uh, a few of these other things. So that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you found it entertaining. Um, let me know what you like in the comments down below. And uh, as always, appreciate you watching and have a great week.